I mean, yes, she had accidents. Little kids in the best of circumstances have accidents. But that you didn't pull over or pull to the side of the road even and let her use the bathroom and then beat her because she engaged in a natural bodily function, I, I just, I can't get past that. And the stepmother, they are both evil incarnate and I, I, I think they both should be under the prison. This is just mm-hmm. horrific that this has happened. Mm-hmm. Under the prison, uh, amen, Vonda, amen. Uh, I am, um, you know, and I tell me if you were like this, you know, um, being in a prosecutor, and I, I did not uh, handle child abuse cases, and I, I thank God that I didn't. I, I wouldn't have the stomach for it. You know, I worked in a very large office, and we had specialized units for everything, and there were prosecutors who would routinely handle them, and. I, I would say to them, like, God bless you for doing this work because I, I think I would be in tears every day and just wouldn't be able to emotionally detach myself. I mean, it, it takes a real rotten, evil person to harm a child, a defenseless child who can't protect themselves. Uh, Vonda, uh, your thoughts on, on that and child abuse in general? Because if I had to bet, uh, I'd bet everything I own. This didn't happen in a vacuum. I bet that child was abused every day of her life by him. Right. You know, I, I'm, I'm like you. I, I refuse to, to cycle over into the, the um, juvenile portion of our office. Yeah. It was difficult enough. I did domestic violence and it was difficult enough doing uh, with child victims. So, I mean, not victims, but child witnesses. So I just, you know, I, I, I have a problem with the, uh, the woman whose house they stayed in. I have a problem with the landlord of the apartment complex. That body was, was decomposing and they, someone had to have smelled that body. So it just, the, the, the number of people that should have and could have stepped in and did not is just mind boggling. And all of them should be charged, in my opinion. Mm-hmm, absolutely. Uh, and for anyone wondering, I mean, this affidavit is very detailed. I think it's about 50 pages, and we're literally reading it as, as I'm talking to you, Vonda. Uh, Little Harmony's body never found. Apparently, uh, she was dumped in an undisclosed location. And so the people who do love her, um, like Blair Miller and his husband Jonathan and her brother Jameson and uh, her biological mother, uh, who I understand has just had a lot of difficulties uh, in her life. That's why she wasn't able to parent her. Um, There were people that loved this child. They can't even give this child a proper burial uh, because the body hasn't been able to be found. So that that adds another layer of um, deplorable conduct here uh, in the allegations against Adam Montgomery. Uh, We are going to be having continuing coverage of this throughout the day. We have our Court TV journalist digging in, reading through this page by page. Uh, But those were the highlights, my friends. Those were the the sick and disgusting highlights here that little Harmony Montgomery was allegedly beaten to death after she was forced to live in a car and was having accidents in the car because she didn't have a bathroom to use. That child deserved to have a beautiful life. And now whomever did this to her deserves the stiffest of punishments. We're going to take a quick break. When we come back, we'll return to Wisconsin for more.